They met me in the day of success. And I have learned by the perfectest report that they have more in them than mortal knowledge. When I burned in desire to question them further, they made themselves air into which they vanished. Or stuck wrapped in the one of it came missives from the king, who all hailed me, Dame of Cordor, by which title before these weird sisters saluted me and referred me to the coming on of time and hail, Queen, it shalt be. Queen, it shalt be. This have I thought good to deliver thee, my dearest partner of greatness, that thou mightst not lose the dues of rejoicing, but being ignorant of what greatness has promised thee, lay it to thy heart and farewell. If the assassination could travel up the consequence and catch with his to cease success, then that with this blue might be the beal and dental here. But here, upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump the life to come. Thou must thou art, hence Cordor, and shalt be what thou art promised greater than both by the all hail hereafter. But in these cases, we still have judgment here. That we would teach bloody instructions, which being taught return to plague the inventor. This even handed justice commends the ingredients of the poison chalice to our own lips. If thou wast highly, thou wast thou holily, wast not play false and yet. Would strongly win. Thou dost have great plans, that which Christ thus thou must do if thou have it. And that which rather thou dost fear to do, and wish it should be undone. This supernatural solicitation cannot be ill, cannot be good. If good, why do I yield to that suggestion? Whose horrid image doth unfix my hair, and make my seated heart knock out my ribs? Against the use of nature. We will proceed no further in this business. He's here in double trust. First, as I am his subject and his blood, strong both against the deed, then as his host, who should against his murder shut the door. Not bear the knife myself. My thoughts, whose murder yet is but fantastical shakes so, my single state of soul, that function is smothered in surmise, and nothing is but what it is. Besides, this Duncan hath borne his faculties so meek, have been so clear in his great office that his virtues will plead like angels trumpet tongued against the deep damnation of his taking off. And pity, like a naked newborn babe striding the blast, or heaven's cherubim, horsed upon the sightless careers of the air, shall blow <laughs> horrid deed in every eye, that tears shall drown the wind. Yet do I fear thy nature, which is too full of the milk of human kindness, to catch the nearest way that would to be great. Ah, not without ambition, but without it the illness should attend. Hie thee hither, that I may pour my spirits in thine ear, and chastise with valour of my tongue all that impedes thee from the golden ground. To beguile the time. Look like the time. They're welcome in your eye, your hand, your tongue. Look, like the innocent flower to be the serpent under it. Only look up clear to alter favour ever is to fear. He could change his behaviour. He could apologise for all of his past statements. He could apologise for standing next to signs, describing me as a witch and a bitch. Terminology is now objected to. He could change the standard himself if he sought to do so, but we will see none of that. Unsex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe top full of direst cruelty. 
Thank you, thick my blood. Stop up the access and passage through remorse and no compunctions. Visitings of nature shake my fell purpose, nor keep peace between the effect in it. Come to my woman's breast and take my milk for gal, you murdering ministers. Wherever in your silent substances you wait on nature's mischief, which fate and metaphysical aid doth seem to have thee crowned withal. Come, the night and pal thee in the dunnest most of hell, and my keen knife see not the wound it makes, nor heaven peep through the blades of the dark scrap. Hold! Hold! Stars, hide your fires. Let not light see my black and deep desires. I wink at the hand, yet let that be which the eye fears when it is done to see. I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent. It's only vaulting ambition which all leaves itself and falls on the other. that's coming must be provided for. And you shall put this night's great business into my dispatch, for I feel now the future in an instant. I am settled, and bend up each corporal agent to this terrific fate. I wait in more time with fairy show, for space must hide what the false heart doth know.